So this is part three of There Is A Thin Line Between Anger and Jealousy. I've done my hair. So I'm a little wet from um, going to the bus stop. It just started raining here, so keep your cat on that. Now here's the thing, man. You know, a lot of people fail to understand that I am not jealous of my family members. They're a little bit more well off than I am, but they're not like by far that much richer than me. You know, they might be richer than me monetarily wise, but they tend to forget how the fuck they got there. They tend to forget who the hell made the sacrifices, who's watched them grow up, and who's watched their children grow up and have it better than them and myself. That's where the problem starts. But I am where the problem ends. Because, see, I screwed up. So let me own my half first. I should have been mad enough to say no. I should have been mad enough to say, go fuck yourself. I should have been mad enough to say, fuck off. You laid down, you made these babies, now you got to deal with these babies. So if you got to work at whatever down-end job you have to work, well, you probably should have thought about that before you start working on the penis or the vagina. For those who gotten pregnant and for those who impregnated others. Siblings, I'm talking to you. I didn't get that chance. You took it from me. My 20s, my teens, my 30s, my 40s, you all have robbed me of my life. So, I'm not jealous. I'm pissed the fuck off. I'm angry as fuck. And y'all don't seem to look in the mirror and say, damn, you know, we, we kind of really did do that. We took away his ability to have a choice. Because every time we turned around, Somebody was getting pregnant or making someone else pregnant. And instead of saying, you know, we should probably stop. We should probably put on some condoms or some birth control. We should probably do what we should do, which is the right thing. We've decided to live on the fuck you, I do what I want. But fuck you, I do what I want comes with consequences, which you were not aware of. Or you did not give a damn about. Which one is it? Because I've had to deal with your consequences of your actions. Which is why I have nothing. And I don't get a thank you for it. I don't get a I'm sorry for it. I don't get, damn, you know, we kind of really did screw you and our elder sibling out of everything. But we got it all. We got fancy cars. We got fancy apartments. We got fancy homes of our own. On our own. It's just one little problem with that. Half of that is not true. You didn't get it on your own. Because someone had to take care of your children while you were out creating more children and trying to get it on your own. That was us. So yeah. My older sibling ain't, ain't angry or jealous. But I'm the only one that's angry. I'm not jealous. I'm happy that my siblings got their shit. I'm angry because they took my opportunities while I was younger and healthier to shine. My earning years are gone. So I need to double that shit when my career takes off. Because if I don't, I'm never going to be able to retire. But if I'm in front of the camera, I don't need to retire. I'll work until I'm dead. Because I know it'll be worth it to have everything that I need versus everything that I want. I don't have a lot of money. I have one want and only one want. And that want is to be happy. It is not to be better than my siblings. It is not to be richer than my siblings. It is not to be better or richer than any of you. That one goal is to finally be happy and to share my life with someone who will also increase my happiness. But we will see where the hands of fate take me on that. I don't want to end this video with an improper I'm sorry for whoever's feelings I hurt watching this video, especially if you're one of the siblings in which I speak. But everything that I spoke of in the first video, in the second video, and in this video is the truth. You may not want to admit it. You may not want to own it. You may not want to take a capability of culpability of accountability, but that does not change the fact that everything I said has happened. You know why you don't want to take, change the facts? Because everything that I said was working for you, in your favor. 
And yeah, other people on the outside looking in, my 134 people watching, and if anybody came from TikTok or Instagram or watching, they'll be like, well, James, some of that's your fault. No, none of it's my fault. The only part of my fault was I wanted to be loved by one parent who refused to love me and refused to teach everybody fairly. See, this is what causes sibling rivalry when you have favorites. This is what causes jealousy when you have favorites. This is what causes problems in families and wind up having family members split like the Hatfield and the McCoys because of jealousy. Unequated rage is what I have. Unequated anger because it's illegal for me to go back in time and punch a few people in the face to prevent children from being born by people who want nothing to do with my siblings that are having them or my sibling getting another person pregnant that was only going to ruin that sibling's life. But instead of taking accountability, instead of saying, yeah, we did that. We screwed you, James. We screwed you, Echo. We're sorry. I don't want you fucking sorry. I want you to do better. I want you to grow the fuck up. I want to not have to look in the mirror at a person who regrets his life because every time I turn around, I have a living reminder running around beside me somewhere that I did not create. I have a living reminder reminding me that my daddy's better than you. My mom was better than you. Because we got everything and you have nothing. All you have is you. We don't support you. We borrow from you. We spit in your face. We lie to your face. We pretend to like you, love you, tolerate you. Instead of just being honest. As we laugh in your face and we laugh behind your back and we have secret meetings that decided we were going to have children and you're not. So yeah, I don't think I have anything to be jealous over. Because being jealous over stupid things gets you nowhere. Anger, on the other hand. I have all the anger in the world because my life was taken from me. Because my life was chosen to take the path that I didn't want to take because my siblings wouldn't grow up, because our parent wouldn't make them grow up and made life too easy for them. They do not know what failure is. This is 21 years of failure for acting. This is 21 years of dreams being shattered, of not being able to pursue what I want to do with my life because my siblings wouldn't stop having kids. Because my parent wouldn't slap them in the face with the you need to grow the fuck up lecture. But here's the thing. When my parent finally passes like my other one. The lost Fantastic Five will no longer thrive. So they better grow up and get their shit together. Because birds of a feather will not only flock together. But they will fall together. I'm a lone wolf and I'm okay with it. I am no longer your guardian. I am no longer your protector because now I need to protect me from myself and from you making choices that affect my life. I get tired of yelling at people, I'm filming. You see my goddamn lights. No one cares because my success does benefit me, but it benefits them. But they don't see it that way. They see my success as benefiting me, but not them. So let me give you a flashback scenario really, really fucking quickly for those in my family and for those watching on TikTok. I will bring up a musical group. One musical group from the 60s. And for that one musical group, there was one singer specifically picked. Specifically built the five until he was the only one and his sister, who was supporting the family because the rest of them fell into obscurity. Do you know who I'm talking about? Of course you don't. But let me give you a hint. MJ, and not Michael Jordan, but Michael Jackson. Because you understand that the Jackson 5 started off with the Jackson 5. A, B, C, it's easier than one, two, three. So baby, just come with me. One, two, three, A, B, C, baby, you and me. Michael grew into an icon. The other four members of the Jackson 5 had some hits and then they faded into darkness never to be making any more music. They made a couple of more hits. Their children tried to revive the Jackson 5. They called them something. There was three of the kids. They weren't Michael's kids, but there were three of the kids. 
But Michael Jackson's success benefited his family. It made them never have to work again. Granted, they came up with a couple of books about how Joe Jackson abused their ass. I'm sorry if that was offensive. But they did come up with a couple of books about Joe Jackson abusing Latoya and Reed, which is why they don't really have much to do with the Jacksons. Tito and Jermaine were once reported to work in grocery stores. But I don't find that to be true because Michael Jackson made enough money that he built a Neverland ranch which they pretty much took from the Jackson family after Michael's death. Michael had a whole bunch of controversy about being a child molester and some more stuff, but Michael never got the chance to be a kid because his success was benefiting the family. Guess what? I never got the chance to be a kid because I was fighting as a child. And if I wasn't fighting as a child, I was taking care of kids that my parent had that was not my responsibility. My teens, my twenties, my 30s, my 40s are gone. And somehow along the way, none of them seem to understand that my benefit of my acting career taking off tomorrow would benefit the entire family because I'm not going to leave them out in the poor and cold. I'm not going to move them in my house with me because I'm not that damn dumb. That's where Michael fucked up. But I'm not going to do that. Will I buy them their own houses? No. They've already got that covered. Will I help out their children? Maybe. The question is, should I? Why should I, when you haven't helped me succeed at what I'm doing? Why should I bend over backwards? But if you need something, I would definitely deal with a need versus a want. Because I know how it feels to be poor. I need a hairbrush. I need a new wallet. I don't need a new cell phone every two years. I will use that cell phone until that motherfucker starts smoking. All right, I don't need a new computer. It does need an upgrade, but I have a contract with Best Buy for that. So when I pay to re-up, they will upgrade my shit. But if they want me to get a serious upgrade, I got to pay 500 bucks for that. No one's giving me that money. And it does need a serious upgrade, but I can't afford it right now. Same with my other laptop. So I take care of my needs. I will take care of their needs. Well, James, I want this new house down in Florida. Well, uh, when I wasn't working and I wasn't a successful actor because you wouldn't let me do it because I was taking care of your children, now you can't get that house. But if you need it and you can prove to me that you need it and if I have the money and the resources, you will get that house. But if you just want that house, then you're going to want it for the rest of your life. Because in all the time you have stopped me from becoming successful, you could have had that house without no problem. Because I would have bent over backwards like most celebrities do to help their family members out. But since I can't become a celebrity because I'm taking care of kids that my dick didn't create, it's kind of difficult to give you what you want and what you need when my success benefits you and me versus my failures only benefit you. So again... There is a thin line between anger and jealousy. I am not jealous. I am angry. Why be jealous over shit that I can change? Because my siblings have better houses, better cars, they have children. I don't have anything. But there is no rule that says I can't get it. Now I just have to work even harder than what I've been doing over the last 21 years. James Williams Jr. is dead. Only Echo Fang Grey Wolves remain, which is why I address myself as Echo Fang Grey Wolf on this channel, on TikTok, and on Instagram. I'm always going to be James Williams Jr., but I'm never going to stop being Echo Fang Grey Wolf from this day forward. So when I address myself as Echo Fang Grey Wolf, know that we're the same guy. Echo Fang Grey Wolf is the embodiment of my anger and my workload that I'm going to be taking on for the rest of my life because I've been into acting 21 years and I only worked for myself and I will not stop until I'm actually where I need to be. I will not help my family once I have success unless it is an emergency but as far as the ones that have not helped me, that have gotten in my way, that have everything, the ones who have not paid me back who have looked in my face and smiled when the money I lent them could have got my Love 13 graphic novel published. 
could have got my American Code of Each graphic novel published so that I wouldn't have to work as hard. Well, you guys, you're SOL. One of your kids needs something, I might consider helping them. But needs, not wants. Because this is the difference maker between me and y'all. Y'all got your wants taken care of. And you're making it now so that you can take care of your needs. And now it's my turn. I'm done playing nice. I am done helping people who are fully capable of helping themselves. That being said, again, there is a thin line between anger and jealousy. This is the embodiment of anger. I don't have time for jealousy. Because that's energy that I can't waste. But anger... I stay angry 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. However, I have manners and I know how to use them, which is why I'm not angry with anybody who's following me. Thank you guys for that. That being said, Echo Fang Grey Wolf. Come for number two. Be seeing you.